Oh my gosh, horse lovers, Belle is bagging up. The baby is coming. I repeat, the baby is coming. So we still probably have maybe like a week to two weeks, but I don't think anymore. She literally developed this huge bag overnight and we have to immediately move her to the foaling paddock because literally she could technically have it at any time now. Okay, I'm gonna show you her bag and then we gotta get this girl out of her paddock she's in now and into the foaling lot. Thank goodness we are all set up and ready to go. This is crazy. I can't believe we are gonna meet the foal here in maybe a few days to a couple weeks. This is so exciting. Okay, let me show you her bag. It's huge now compared. Look, her teats are actually getting smaller, which means her bag is getting bigger. This is crazy. She's like, what? <laughs> okay, mama, we have got to get you out of here and get you into your foaling paddock officially. You're moving into your baby suite. Are you excited or what? Ah, I can't believe this. Belle is just finishing up her breakfast, but you can see how much bigger her tummy is. And then this angle really shows how much bigger her bag is too. And like literally, this was overnight. So we're definitely getting closer. Belle's like, what's all the fuss about? Like, I'm used to this. It's all good. <laughs> she is so sweet though. I'm very excited to see our little baby when they come. I'm also going to check her hind end to see if it's loosened up a little bit more now that she's bagging up. So I'll just gently feel around her tail head and it's a little bit soft, but it's not super, super squishy yet. So we still got a little bit of time, but she's definitely developing. Okay, we gotta get her out of here right now. And this will be great because then she can go in there. I can play around with the cameras while she's in there. And if anything happens, we are ready. I mean, kind of. Okay, Belle, let's get you in your folding paddock. Are you ready to move out and move in? Let's do it. All right, mama. I'm moving out. I'm moving out and moving into your bait suite. gonna do a quick groom and fly spray just so she's comfortable before we put her out there and then I do want to give her a bath in the next day or two as well but yeah just a quick brush yeah I know you're a good mama you're a good mama She's enormous. I know, I'm gonna fly spray you, hold on. What I love about Belle is that there's just no pressure and that it's just great to be able to spend time with her and just take care of her, groom her, and meet all of her needs. It's just a different type of relationship and bond, and it's really fantastic. And I love listening to the baby and watching them move. It's so fascinating and cool. The flies are pretty horrible today, but I just want to groom her up really quick, and then I'm going to spray her really good. But because it's been so hot, they've been really pesky. I use Piranha. I really like this fly spray. I think it's like one of the only ones that works pretty well. Now Miss Belle is all groomed up and looking absolutely gorgeous. 
She is just such a beautiful mare. Okay, I'm gonna give her a treat and then we're gonna take her out. Belle can be super picky about treats, but she really likes these muffin treats, the German muffins. She thinks they're absolutely delicious. Okay, it's officially time to take Belle to her foaling paddock. We are so stoked. We'll see how she acclimates in there. I mean, I think it'll be good because she has been in there before, like a long, long time ago before we even knew she was pregnant. But yes, now it is all officially ready for her to move in. Right now, she's just walking around, checking everything out. Will that suffice for you? Can you have your baby out here? Okay, Momo? There's your hay. She's trying to figure out where the best spot is to have her full. <laughs> Scoping it out. What I also like about this area is that she doesn't share a fence with any other horse, but she's still like around other horses. You know what I'm saying? So she's still gonna get like that stimulation. Here you go, mama, you got everything you need. <laughs> you happy? That's where I want her to have the full, it's like right there. But you know. But anyways, I like it because yeah, she's still like in the epicenter of basically everything and she'll see the other horses, but they can't bother her or touch her or anything like that. So I think that's perfect, right? She's got her neighbors here. Jiminy's very happy. You'll get to see, but you guys can't touch the full. <laughs> perfect. I am just incredibly excited and now it's official. So I think tomorrow what I'll do is set out all of her like foaling kit items and all of that kind of stuff just so that we're prepared kyle's shop is right behind us so i might just put the stuff like in the corner there just in case it rains but that way if she does full i can just run over there grab it and then we'll be good to go <laughs> this is insane now we're gonna test out the cameras a little bit i'm gonna play around with them and i'll show you some of the screen recordings this here is camera number one. Now it is a lot clearer on my phone, but it's cool because I can move the camera side to side. I can move them up and down. So I have a pretty big range of view and it's just perfect. I can zoom in, I can zoom out. And this just makes me feel a lot better because then I can monitor her appropriately. And then this is camera number two. What I like about this is I get another view of the front area, but I could also see the outdoor arena and the other horses. And it's just really nice because I can move it around. I can see the back of the paddock too. I can also talk through the camera, which is cool. And it does have sound. So that's pretty amazing. I'm very excited that I have these. It just puts my mind at ease. I can check up on her even when I'm just in the house or if I ran to the store. But for now, I'm staying pretty close by in case she starts developing more signs or that she's showing that she's about to deliver, which like I said, it really could be at any time. So we really got between now and two weeks, horse lovers. It's gonna be pretty crazy to see when she ends up having the full. You can see here, I'm kind of going down to get a better look at her. And I really like these cameras and they have night vision and everything. There's a lot of different features and settings that I can use. So I think that's very effective in what I'm doing. 
All right, horse lovers, we also have a few thank yous to do. Thank you so much, Lisa, for these super cute short mucks. I love these for summer and they are so cute with the floral print. Thank you, I'm gonna wear these all the time. And Lisa, thank you so much for this really cute riding shirt. I love that it's navy, so pretty. And for this bling visor, these two will match so good. Thank you so much, Lisa. If you wanna support Free Spirit Equestrian, you can order us something off our Amazon wish list. link in the description. Right now, I'm looking for fly spray for Belle and her bull and just a few other items. I really appreciate all of your support. Thanks, horse lovers. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is scrub her trough and I will get her a new one here in the next couple days, but I just wanna scrub this one out and get it ready for tonight. One of the biggest things when it comes to preparing the foaling paddock was really just getting everything sanitized and clean, you know, because the foal is more susceptible to infection. Something scared the absolute poop out of me. So literally this is the first night having cameras, right? I'm checking them like every hour or so. And then at 3 a.m. basically, I see this. She's like standing there. And then it looks like literally a dead foal on the ground. Like there's nothing else around. It's a dark shadow. And literally it's 3 a.m. Like, you know, it's not like perfectly clear. I have tired eyes. So I absolutely freaking panic thinking that she literally like lost her foal because she's like standing sort of nearby. So I freak out. I get out of bed and I run to the paddock preparing myself for the absolute worst. And then I get out there and it's literally a pee spot. Like you can't tell me that that does not look like what I thought it was just based off the camera footage. And I'm gonna show you a picture here and it will show you even more like how it's in the shape of a foal. Plus she's kind of like standing nearby. The whole thing totally freaked me out. And I definitely had a conversation with her saying, yeah, maybe you should pick better spots to pee so that I don't freak out. Here's the picture. Like it looks just like that. That is in the shape of a foal. Say bye, Belle. Okay, horse lovers, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications so you do not miss anything with Belle because this baby is going to be here sometime soon and I don't want you to miss a thing, okay? So I will see you next time, horse lovers. Bye!